Hello, guys. All right, so today we are going to talk about operations with functions. And the first one that I want to go over is adding and subtracting. So you are given two different functions here, and we are being asked to add them together. Okay? So you may see this as this. Okay? I need you to know that that is the same thing as saying f of x plus g of x. Okay? And so when I do that, f of x is 8x plus 13. f of x is 8x plus 13 plus g of x, which is x squared minus 5x. All we have to do is combine like terms, and we get x squared plus 3x, so 8x minus 5x is 3x, plus 13. So I guess adding would be the simplest operation because all you're doing is combining like terms. Now, for subtraction, you have to be careful on which one is coming first, okay? So you may see f minus g times x, which also means, okay, f of x minus g of x. So f of x is 8x plus 13 minus, I'm going to put in parentheses, g of x, which is x squared minus 5x. Okay? That minus sign changes every sign to the right of it. So that positive x squared is now a negative x squared. Minus a negative is a plus. And now you can combine like terms and you get negative x squared plus 13x, so 8x plus 5x is 13x, plus 13 for our answer. The other way that you may see it is g minus f times x, which is g of x minus f of x. So we're going to take g of x first, minus f of x, so I'm going to put in parentheses, 8x plus 13, I'm going to distribute the minus sign, changes both of those signs. Now you can combine like terms, so you get x squared minus 13x, so it's negative 5x, negative 8x, gives me negative 13x minus 13. So be careful on what is coming first and last, okay? So the minus sign changes all of the signs to the right of it. All right, so that was adding, subtracting. And now we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing. So we have two new functions, f of x and g of x. And so when we multiply, they're going to write this as f times g times x, which you should know is f of x times g of x. Okay? So... My f of x is 2x squared plus 2x. I'm going to put that in parentheses. Multiplied to g of x, which is x plus 1. Okay? All you're going to do is distribute. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. 2x squared times 1 is 2x squared. 2x times x is another 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x, combine your like terms, 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x will be my answer, okay? For division, you may see this, which means f of x divided by g of x, okay? So what is that? f of x comes top and g of x goes on the bottom. Okay, whenever we divide, we want to factor. Okay, so I look at my numerator, and I can take a 2x out of both of those, and it leaves x plus 1 over x plus 1. Well, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is just 1, so that leaves 2x. And the only thing I need you to tell me is what would make this undefined. So remember, to be undefined, the denominator has to be 0. So you're actually going to set x plus 1 equal to 0. And so x cannot equal a negative 1. Okay? You may see it like this. And you need to know that that's g of x divided by f of x. 
Okay, so the first one was f of x on top. Now f of x is on my denominator. So g of x is on the top. f of x is on the bottom. Again, we are factoring. x plus 1's cancel, leaving 1 over 2x. And x can't be, okay, so I want you to look at the factored form. You're going to set 2x equal to 0, and you're going to set x plus 1 equal to 0, okay? This equals 0, this equals negative 1. So x cannot equal a 0 or a negative 1. That would be your answer. All right, good luck, guys.